So if the purpose of art is to convey a message, an idea, a thought, then I believe the same can be said about fragrances and not only the type of fragrances that we wear, but the way we choose to wear them and when we choose to wear them, which undoubtedly sends a message to the outside world about the kind of person that we are, um, the person that we want to be perceived as, or even the person that we don't want to be perceived as. Um, guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Gids. That is kind of the theme of today's video. Today's video is all about art and fragrance. I'm doing this in collaboration with two of my amazing friends. They are my fellow fragrance reviewers, Deborah Day, the fragrance enabler. She has an amazing channel. I will leave her link below. And also Maud Toussaint, who is a fragrance reviewer and an art enthusiast. She has some amazing art pieces and she kind of merges the two really nicely on her channel, so check them out. Now, I've always loved art. I think art for me is something which I'm always inspired by. I'm inspired by current artists, upcoming artists, artists of yesterday and artists of tomorrow. So for me, I love art in general and I'm really, really excited to do this video. I thought it'd be fun to do something a bit different. So I'm gonna be sending three of my favorite artists and talking about them in more detail. Now, the first artist I wanted to talk about is Yayoi Kusama. Now, Kusama is a Japanese contemporary pop artist who for the past 40 years has been expressing her art through installations, sculptures, paintings, fashion and film. And her influence and impact on the art world cannot be denied. Um, what I love about Kusama's work is it's highly conceptual and it's deeply personal, in part inspired by her traumatic childhood. Um, famously, Kusama is known for her use of polka dots, um, a theme that she's consistently shown in her work over the years. Um, now, these polka dots were inspired by hallucinations as a child, um, which she describes as flashes of light or a flurry of dots, which has been reinterpreted through painting, installations, fashion, film and photography. Um, it also represents how we as human beings um, are part of a wider infinite universe. Another theme in her work is pumpkins, um, which is a consistent theme, which is a nod to her childhood, growing up on a plant nursery and a seed farm, which she saw as fun and charming. And she even imagined that the pumpkins talking to her. Um, I was very lucky to see Kusama's work um, firsthand up close and her work is so inspiring. I mean, there's lots of color, it's bold, it's really refreshing. And especially when you go into what she has, her installation, which is the infinity rooms, it's, it's like nothing I've ever experienced. She really is a very special and unique artist. And even at the age of 91, she shows no signs of slowing down. Now the fragrance I have chosen to scent Kusama is this one. This is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. Now, first of all, on the bottle design alone, I think Kusama would definitely approve of this. I think it speaks to her playful and her kind of optimism in the way that she um, works as an artist. But I also think she, if she ever released a fragrance, it would be quite colorful, quite playful and would be really interesting at the same time. Now, the reason I picked this fragrance is because it's a beautiful, floral, fresh, green, kind of aromatic, rose heavy fragrance, but it's so nice. So there is this kind of fresh green herbal quality to the fragrance as well. I recently picked this one up because even though it's marketed towards women, I think there is this kind of green freshness in the fragrance. And I think it's because it's got some vetiver and it's got this kind of cannabis note. Now, even though it does have a cannabis note, you don't get that very prominent in the fragrance, but it has a lot of nuances in it, which make it very, very special. So I don't know why, but I looked at this of all the fragrances that I have, and I thought this definitely represents to me Kusama, her work, her quirky side, her fun side, and yeah, that's the fragrance I've gone for, for Kusama. So the next artist I've chosen is another amazing artist. His name is Banksy. He's an anonymous street artist, and he's also an activist and film director. Now, his work often appears on bridges, walls, and other public street surfaces. The undertones of Banksy's work is 
a social commentary on the current times that we live in. Um, his work often provokes thoughts. He's very kind of politically charged in a lot of his work and it definitely makes us think and question. He originally begun as a graffiti artist but then moved to stenciling when he realised how much less time it took, especially as an anonymous street artist who would usually hide from the police and create his art in the night. Um, to this day, what's really interesting about Banksy is nobody knows his identity till this exact day. There is speculation of who he is and there's been some names thrown out there, but for the most part, we don't actually know exactly who Banksy is. Despite the fact that till this day, the exact identity of Banksy is unknown, his popularity globally still continues to grow. Despite this, Banksy refuses to sell his work because it's largely on publicly owned buildings and street services, and it's often taken down and sold without him receiving any financial compensation. His work is cleverly, beautifully nuanced, has metaphors, always in his work, which are able to transcend language barriers. My favourite art piece from Banksy is this one here. This is a recreation and this is called Girl with Balloon or Balloon Girl. And for me, what this represents is the ideal of, you know, letting something go. And if it's meant to be, then it will come back. Um, it's in the shape of a heart, which to me represents love and obviously it's a young girl who represents someone possibly who has lots of dreams and aspirations and it's a really beautiful art piece for me like i said it represents letting go and also it represents for me that you know what is meant for you will never pass you by um, which is quite a powerful uh, message but that's the thing about art is it's very subjective and you can kind of take different meanings from each piece of art. The fragrance I have chosen to scent Banksy is this one. This is Moschino Toy Boy. Now, despite this sort of childish, playful looking bottle, this is a great, great fragrance. This is a woody, spicy rose fragrance. And what's really good about this is it kind of reinterpreted the idea of what a male fragrance can be. This is a floral heavy fragrance, but done and marketed towards men in a very clever way. Um, as I said, it's rose, it's got a lot of rose in the fragrance, it's spicy, it's woody, very aromatic and very, very unique. This is a great fragrance. And like I said, it's playful, it's ironic, it's a great one. And I just thought this could kind of sum up Banksy's work and his style quite well. Kind of playful, ironic, but there is a bit more depth behind it. So, Moschino Toy Boy. The final artist is the wonderful Grace Jones. Um, what can you say about Grace Jones? I mean, Grace Jones, first of all, is a Jamaican model, singer, songwriter, producer, and actress. Um, she initially began her career as a fashion model and a muse to designers like Gautier, Thierry Mugler, Yves Saint Laurent, and Azadine Alaya, to name a few. And then she went on to release music and become a very successful actress. But what makes her art so special is her unwavering ability to be authentically herself at all times. Um, there will only be one Grace Jones. And even though throughout the course of her career, she was often misunderstood and criticized for truly being herself, her style was always far ahead of its time. Um, you know, as a style icon, she's still very far ahead of her time and she still continues to inspire the generations of today. I personally feel she never quite got the true recognition she deserves for being the pioneer that she is, um, despite how much influence she continues to have on modern day artists. Um, she was one of the first pioneers of like androgyny, mixing feminine and masculine silhouettes. And everyone from Madonna to Bjork to Lady Gaga have all been influenced by Grace. Now the fragrance I have chosen for the amazing Grace Jones is Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Now, the reason I went for this fragrance, I wanted something for Grace which showed a bit of complexity, which was interesting and was a classic. And this fragrance came out in 2006. And I think when this fragrance came out, it was definitely ahead of its time. It was very original. It was very unique. Um, I still think it's very original and very unique. Every time I wear this fragrance, I get something different. So sometimes I get chocolatey notes. Sometimes I get more of the floral. Sometimes I get more of the fruity notes. 
and it's very complex. There's so many different notes in the fragrance, which is why I think for a lot of people it's a love or a hate because there's so much going on in this. But that's like Grace. I don't think she's just, you know, a one-sided type of artist. I think she has so many complexities. She's a genius. She's ahead of her time. She's original and she's a classic. She's timeless, just like this fragrance. So that's the fragrance I went for, Black Orchid Eau de Parfum for Grace Jones. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my choices. Let me know what you thought about my choices. And also guys, who are some of your favorite artists? Let me know. Um, I love art and I'm always interested to learn about new artists or artists that other people might recommend. I would highly recommend guys, if you do get a chance, um, go and enjoy some art. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel, guys. It means the world to me and I will see you in my next video. Take care, guys.